The Perseverance rover found organic compounds in Jezero Crater. Analyzes of rock samples taken from the Martian crater Jezero, where the Perseverance rover landed. Indicate interactions between rocks and liquid water, according to a new study. What's more, traces suggesting the presence of organic compounds were also found in the examined rocks. Scientists managing the mission of the rover Perseverance on Mars published in Science their analysis of rock samples from the Jezero crater. These studies reveal evidence of rocks interacting with liquid water. The researchers also found signatures that may indicate the presence of organic compounds. Organic matter has already been found on Mars. Earlier, he had come across the Curiosity rover and recently Perseverance. Organic compounds are not direct evidence of life on the Red Planet in the past. They may well be formed by non-biological processes. However, a more detailed study of these compounds may reveal more about the history of water on Mars and whether the Red Planet may have harbored the conditions for life in its ancient past. But for that, you'd have to deliver the collected samples to Earth. The Perseverance rover previously found organic matter in Jezero Crater. Scientists believe that the Jezero Crater, which is about 45 kilometers wide, was filled with a lake almost 500 meters deep between 3.5 and 3.9 billion years ago, which was connected to a nearby river. It is located north of the Martian equator on the western edge of Isidus Planitia, a plain located within a giant impact basin. Scientists believe the site was once a river delta, which may have picked up along the way and accumulated possible organic particles and other potential signs of microbial life in the sediment. That's why they decided to land there. Scientists are particularly interested in the delta, as such formations may favor the settling of possible microorganisms. As the water in the river flows into the lake, it slows down, allowing the sediment collected along the way to sink to the bottom, trapping any microorganisms that could potentially be living in it. However, the crater floor surprised the researchers. Scientists expected to find mostly sedimentary rocks there. However, when the rover collected the first samples, it turned out that it hit igneous rocks, which are formed deep below the surface or during volcanic activity. It turned out that most of the rocks at the bottom of the crater are igneous rocks, not sedimentary ones. Now researchers have reported new discoveries. The igneous rocks found contain minerals that have recorded contact with water. These minerals, such as carbonates and salts, are deposited as the liquid water circulates, which carves various niches and pockets where dissolved minerals are deposited. In some of these fissures and fissures, scientists have seen evidence of organic matter. Using the SHERLOC, scanning habitable environments with Raman and luminescence for organics and chemicals, instrument. An international team led by planetary scientist Eva Scheller of Caltech and MIT conducted a probe of igneous rocks in the crater floor. Mounted on the rover's robotic arm, the SHERLOC rover is equipped with a number of tools, including a Raman spectrometer that uses a specific type of fluorescence to search for organic compounds and also checks how they are distributed in the material. Research is focused on three samples taken from two different locations. They found changes in them that they believed were caused by contact with water. Moreover, the researchers found evidence of two types of changes, suggesting the existence of two distinct aquatic environments at different times in the Red Planet's distant past. As the researchers point out in the paper, 
reactions with liquid water led to the formation of carbonates in olivine-rich, igneous rocks between 3.8 and 2.7 billion years ago. Later, around 2.6 to 2.3 billion years ago, salt water may have triggered the formation of perchlorates in rocks. Both carbonates and perchlorates require water to enter the rocks. Dissolving and depositing minerals in the depressions carved by water erosion. Water is unlikely to touch the rocks since perchlorates are deposited, as these dissolve easily. In all three rocks, the team found signatures of benzene-like aromatic hydrocarbons. They appear to be preserved in minerals associated with both aquatic environments, the researchers say but it's not yet possible to say what they are. In order to thoroughly analyze the collected samples, they would have to be tested in laboratories with advanced equipment. Then it would be possible to definitively determine the presence and type of organic substances and whether they have anything to do with life. I hope that one day these samples will be delivered to Earth so that we can look at the evidence for water and possible organic matter and investigate whether the conditions were suitable for life in the early history of Mars, says geochemist Mark Sefton of Imperial College London. Part of the Perseverance mission is collecting samples from particularly interesting-looking places. Each of them goes into a special titanium storage vessel. In the future, more missions that will be able to make a round trip or send them from the surface of the red planet will take them to Earth. When will it happen? This is not yet known. Initial plans suggest a mission launch date of 2026 to 2031.